what's up YouTube land it's your boy Eddie Hill the White Oak Pennsylvanian toy collector and this is my entire Goodwill outlet toy hunt and yeah we got so much toys and figures look at all this stuff it's awesome we got a Halloween thing I won't be reviewing that but I'll hang it up in the room it's like Halloween every day here on Eddie Hill's Reviews in his Halloween section. Other than that, we got a whole lot of toys here. And yeah, awesome toys from every single toy I could find at the Goody Will today as a member of the Goody Will gang. But look at all this stuff. We got TMNT. We got Transformers. We got Robot Dinosaurs. We got Pokemon, we got Shrek, we got Ghostbusters Proton Pack right there. We got a, even I found a hat of Bugs Bunny. Man, that is an awesome hat. I will take a picture of me wearing that hat for the Goody Will Gang to see on YouTube. But yeah, a good looking hat, if I do say so myself. We got some Toy Story, we got some DC, we got some Marvel, some Pokemon. Look at all this stuff. It's glorious. But now we're going to show off everything we got at the Goody Will since this video is probably going on for the longest. So let's get down to the hall. We're going to toss everything back in my bin so I don't lose track of it. One by one. And it only took... A minute and 50 seconds, 50, se 60 seconds, so yeah, that's over 10 seconds, let's get on to it, shall we, let's, we got another one of these Star Wars blasters, this will go nice with a 12 inch Star Wars figure, why not, now I say why not, we got this bendy rabbit. Oh, this is so cool. Look at him. He's like, he, he can eat a carrot and be like, mm, what's up, Doc? Like Bugs Bunny. We got a holiday ornament from Cat in the Hat. This is an original one that has not been opened. So, holy grail find, if I do say so myself. We got The Simpsons, season eight on DVD. This is a rare set. Awesome, awesome that I found that. So cool. And we got books here too, but we'll have to go through everything up front first. We got some die cast cars. These will be going in my Hot Wheels case. I do have a Hot Wheels collection. Why not? Because it's awesome. Hot Wheels is awesome. We got a Batmobile. This is an older Batmobile. Why not? This thing has seen way better days, but looks like the Batmobile from Batman, the Brave and the Bold. And speaking of Batman, we got a mini Batman. We got a Joker. <laughs> we got a Cyborg. This stuff will be reviewed together. We'll probably go on the uh, novelty shelf. Won't be reviewed because it's not an action figure. Maybe we'll review this stuff as a novelty set. I might just do it as a novelty set and review it. So we're going to toss the uh, stuff we got into the empty baskets. So we'll do a whole small review video of random smalls. So yeah. We got... Wonder Woman. So we got two Wonder Womans here. Love some Wonder Woman action figures. And it's a fast food toy of everyone's favorite hero. Hero girl. Wonder Woman. We got a Batgirl plush. Love Batgirl from Batman. I am the knight. I am Batman. We got a Hot Wheels boat. It might be Hot Wheels. Yeah, it is Hot Wheels. We got a, another Hot Wheels car. This is pretty cool. I like that design. That's why I picked it up in the thrift store. And we paid at least 
32 bucks even on this stuff. And this is awesome. Got a dune buggy here. Love some dune buggies. We got an astronaut. I have a little collection of those. Where no man has gone before. We got some Marvel. This is from Black Panther Wakanda Forever. It's a fast food toy. We won't review that because I don't do a lot of fast food toys unless they're worthwhile. We got Captain Marvel in a dress going to spin around. That is just so fun. So fun. And this is probably a vintage My Little Pony. It looks to be a vintage one. If you know what year this came out in, you can tell me I would surely appreciate it. But it looks to be a vintage My Little Pony. My Little Pony. My Little Pony. I don't watch it. Watch My Little Pony. But I do pick up some vintage stuff. We got a... Pokemon from a random series. I think it was XYZ. I don't know this Pokemon's name. If you know, as a Pokemon fan, if any of you subscribe to me as a fan, please tell me in the comments. I got no clue. Here's one I don't know either, but it looks to be a legendary Pokemon. Another thing, I don't know his name. I'm sure one of you will be able to tell me. We got this cool tank. This is going to be used in my G.I. Joe collection. And as of right now, we have finally chosen a name for our G.I. Joe custom recommended by Retro 80's Bert. We're going to go with Ocean Fury. So, Bert, if you're watching this, we're going with your name. We got a Spider-Man ATV. I'll have to put an action figure on this and review it with an action figure. If I find one next month, it will be done. We got a vintage Rescue Heroes Imagine X style figure with a vehicle and a sidecar. Oh, this is awesome. I love some Rescue Heroes. So yeah. Okay, next on the list, we got this dinosaur. It looks to be a knockoff. I don't know if it works. I didn't replace the batteries yet. I'm going to give that a try tonight. But look at this. This is so cool. It's a knockoff. It's definitely not Jurassic Park or Jurassic World. If it was, I'd know about it. We'll try to work on that. Next on the list, we got this little T-Rex. Sort of action figure. Might just go on the novelty shelf. Why not? Uh, we got this little frozen monster. Oh man, this will go on my monster shelf with that shark I have on this shelf. See, it's an awesome shark. But yeah, so cool. We got some Angry Birds Star Wars. We got an ATST driver. We got Han Solo. Got a little R2-D2, everybody's favorite astromech, my favorite astromech of all time from Star Wars. We got these little minifigures, I don't know what they're from, but they're definitely interesting for little tiny little figures. We got a Boo from Mario, Boo! An actual angry bird. Oh, man, look at him. He's just gruesome. He just looks creepy, doesn't he? We got a wind-up jet. You pull it back. And there it goes. We got some wind-up toy action here on my channel. Love some wind-up toys. And speaking of, we got some 3D printed figures. Not figures, but toys that my sister's boyfriend made with free samples on a 3D printer. Eventually, we're going to be trying 3D printing some good action figures. I will be trying 3D printing Transformers Animated Sorry Sumdak from my favorite Transformers cartoon. One of them, anyway. We got a little rocket ship. I painted it red and white. And a little boat. There you go. Toot toot. 
That is just so cool. Next on the list, this goes on my Christmas shelf of figures. Got Santa Claus sleigh. I might have to just paint over the sleigh and repaint it. But otherwise, a good looking piece. I'll just have to find a little Santa Claus next time I go to the Goody Will outlet in North for sales. We got another Mario Kart. It's a me, Mario. And who doesn't like Mario? And these are some cool custom pixelated Pokemon. We got this one I, from XYZ. We got Charmeleon, Bulbasaur, Blastoise, Venusaur, Charizard. Oh man, these are so good. Pikachu, Pikachu, Charmander, Charmander. Squirtle. Squirtle. I do an okay impression of Pokemon. I really do. So far, we're getting through this toy haul. Next, we got a VTech Dino Transformer. But this is so cool. We have to save the batteries on this, and we will do a review on this. And this is a VTech Dino Transformer. So I still do Transformers as well. Next on the list, we got a Funko Pop here. I don't know who this is. It could be Black Widow. It could be someone else from DC or Marvel. If anyone knows, I'd appreciate it if you can link the name in the comment section if you please, thank you very much. So I do collect those when I find them in the Goodwill. Next on the list, we got a dinosaur that looks like a Jurassic Park or Jurassic World. I don't know. He is definitely a T-Rex. If you know if he's from that movie, leave a comment on this guy, please. I would appreciate it. Next, we got one I was most definitely happy to find. It's Rex from Toy Story. Everybody's favorite T-Rex from a classic movie. And here's something I got for free. I didn't pay money on this. I found this in the parking lot of my uh, workplace. Sitting there the whole day. They let me have it and take it home. This reminds me of Jeffrey from Jeffrey Giraffe from Toys R Us. If you're watching, Bert, this guy just reminds me of that character. And just for you, I don't want to grow up. I'm a Toys R Us kid. So yeah, I know the Toys R Us anthem from your trip to Canada. <laughs> Next, we got this guy. Oh, it's the drummer from Kermit's show. I forget his name. Uh, the Muppets. Yeah, the Muppets. That's it. If anyone knows his name, I'd appreciate it. Next, we got this cool strong arm mask. I don't think I'll be reviewing this. It'll probably just hang up somewhere, but this is just so cool. I love some Robots in Disguise Transformers novelties. Next on the list, we got some Pokemon card tins. I started to collect these. These are just so cool. We got Victorian and Jolteon Pokemon card tins. I will probably put those on my Pokemon shelf with everything else. Why not? There I say, why not? <laughs> we're done with the Bugs Bunny hat. We talked we're going to wear that when I go on my next toy hunt. Next on the list, we got this. Mike Sullivan. Did he run out of batteries? He was working a minute ago. This is going on my random Monster Plus shelf. I like Monsters, Inc., so I'm definitely keeping him. I'm not selling him. He is just so cool. 
Next, we got one of our big spider man spider man does whatever a spider can. And this is a pretty good plush. I got two of them for the price of one. Love some Spider-Mans. Next on the list, we got this big motorized dinosaur. If I can squeeze it in completely and turn them on. Awesome robot dinosaur. So cool. I'm definitely going to do a review on this guy. He is just so awesome. He doesn't have the remote, but otherwise, I will review this guy. He's just too cool not to review. For sure. Plushies are going to go on the plushie shelf. Where I can find them. Why not? Here I say why not. Next, we got this die-cast. Transformers. Generation 1. Optimus Prime. This was originally a 30, maybe 40 buck toy at Walmart, if I'm correct. But this guy was worthwhile finding in the thrift store. For half the price of what he was worth at Walmart. Love this toy. I'm definitely going to do a review on this thing. Autobots, transform and roll out. Couldn't help the catchphrase. <laughs> Because that is Optimus Prime's phrase of choice. Next on the list, we got this big, this dinosaur, not dinosaur, but dragon in a bag. This looks like it could have came from a grocery store or a dollar store. If you know where he came, what line he came from, you can tell me what line he came from by reading the writing on here. I'd appreciate it. I'm autistic, so I had to use a text reader to get through school, but this is just so cool. And I just love some dragon action figures. Next on the list, got another Christmas figure from my Christmas collection. I got another Grinch. Guess we can put him in the sleigh, huh? <laughs> yeah, put him in the sleigh. Next on the list, we got this Shrek plush, ogre plush. Of one of Shrek's kids. I don't know his name, but he is just so cute. He is going in my Shrek collection. My random plush collection, for sure. We got another Pokemon plush. It's Psyduck, Psyduck. And I can't help the impression. We got a Raphael, little squishy ball. Little plush squish ball. I'm a mean turtle. I'm going to knock some heads in. Oh, we are getting through this toy haul pretty quickly. Let's look at some of our books here. I do collect books as well. We got this Scooby-Doo book. Sunken Ship book. Oh, man. I love some Scooby-Doo. I will have to make it my goal to read that. Now, this is something that will teach my kids their ABCs. <laughs> when I have kids of my own, this will be the book I use. But for now, I'm single, and I'm going to enjoy it all I can. Next on the list, we got Spider-Man, Spider-Man, does whatever a spider can. Book. Love some books. I take them to camp and read them, because I don't have time to read all these books. Next on the list, we got a Lego Legends of Chima book. I love some Chima. For sure. We got this anime book with some artist drawings. This is just a cool book I got at the Goody Will with some anime characters. Oh, look at that. They're like ch chibi. <laughs> so cute. Look at that. They're the whole band. Oh, just so good looking artwork. Here's one dual singing. Oh, that's cute. Here's one singer. I love finding anime books. I really do. Here's a swimsuit scene. Oh, that's just sweet. A lot of good artwork in here. Yeah. Well, this book is not appropriate for kids under the age of uh, 13. So, definitely going to keep this book.
we got a Star Wars book, and I love some Star Wars books. When I find Star Wars books, I pick them up. Awesome. Next on the list, ooh, a stack just came tumbling down. We got the Ghostbusters Blow Up Proton Pack. So now we can bust some ghosts with this. I might have to get a full costume to wear it next Halloween for sure. Got another TMNT plush. It's our boy, Donatello. I'm the genius tech designer. And I like using bow staffs. And this is one I picked up. It's something I remember hearing. I see so much Hello Kitty at work, so I got a plush of Hello Kitty. Isn't she adorable for a cat? Next on the list, we got a Mario. My sister says if she gets some time, she'll have to fix him up. I got the other strap to this. She's going to have a lot of work fixing them. That's for sure. And here came down the other Mario, the other item. Yeah, these things are tipping over like crazy. Next on the list, got another big Spider-Man. Spider-Man does whatever a spider can. Plush. Can never have too many Spider-Mans in one collection. Next, we got another lightsaber. I love lightsabers. Oh, this is so cool. Gonna hang this on my wall. It's just so cool. It's a blue version of Kylo Ren's sword with Obi-Wan's little sword bottom here. Oh, this is cool. I will definitely review this. This is worthwhile. Lightsaber review. If you think I should do a lightsaber review, I'm sure one of you can tell me in the comments if you want to see that. That's a cool lightsaber. Next on the list, we got a 12-inch Transformers Rescue Heroes. I have reviewed these in the past, and they got quite a few views. You can, you can put a figure in there. Let's put this construction worker guy in here. And this guy is from the toy hall, too. You can ride, a, ride in Heat Wave's chest and be like, Roll to the rescue! Like he said in the show. But yeah, definitely a cool-looking construction worker. I will try to review that. Just for fun. So we'll have a random figure review to do next month. Of stuff I think so random I will review them. Next on the list, we got some more Marvel fast food toys. This is from the uh, Captain Marvel movie. She's the main bad guy, and she's got... Ronin's hammer. You better watch out. She's going to come to get ya. <laughs> Speaking of Pokemon, we got a Piplup plush. Oh, so adorable, isn't she? Isn't it? Huh? For a Pokemon. Going on my random plush shelf for sure. Next on the list, we got a little wind-up toy. I don't review these, but if you think I should... I'm sure one of you can tell me in the comments. Look at it. Walks. It's walking. Oh, so amazing. It walks on its own. I have a lot of fun with these. For sure. The next toy we got is this good old Ant-Man little statue. It's Ant-Man. Isn't he super? So super. Oh, no, so super, super. I got that from Phineas and Ferb Marvel crossover. I couldn't help it. And speaking of Marvel, we got Star-Lord's famous Element Blaster. Oh, this is just cool. Definitely going to hang this up. This is just too cool not to hang up on my wall. But we're getting through this toy haul quite thoroughly. Next, we got my first ever Hulk fist. I used to have the way big ones, but now we got a Hulk fist. It'd be like, Hulk smash! Yeah. Love the Hulk. So glad to have a Hulk fist again. Next on the list, we're going to move these items forward. Because this is the last bit of our items. 
And then we're done with this toy haul. Next on the list, we got this little figure. I think he's a dog from a little kid's cartoon, but he's a cute little doggy. Why not? I love action figures of any kind, and I picked that up for by the pound. Next, we got this crazy man. He, like, racing with his crazy car. I mean, like, I'm going to outrace them all. <laughs> You'll never catch me alive, coppers. Yep. Couldn't help it. We got a Spider-Man mask. But it's going to go on my desk. This is just so cool. We got this little battle car. Oh, this is cool. He's got a cannon to go pew, pew, pew. With that big scary cannon. Why not? I will do a Ghostbusters review on that Proton Pack. That is just so cool. Next on the list, we got this little martial artist guy. And be like, you can't beat me, little kid. I'm a martial arts black belt fighter. Pew, pew, pew. Feel my fists of fury. Love that. And now for our shark. This will be reviewed with the dinosaurs and the monsters. So you pull this back. And his mouth moves. Oh, that's so fun. I know Bertus found probably quite a few of these in the thrift stores, but this reminds me of Jaws so much, I'm going to keep it in my Shark Jaws collection.